The next uh, few tips I'm going to give you is how to uh, maximize the life of your uh, DJI Spark battery. Now, again, this applies for a lot of drones. Now, the first thing would be to cycle these batteries once a month, which means if you're not a regular flyer, you don't fly every week or every second day. Um, initially, when you buy your drone, you fly every day because it's a new toy you want to fly, but after a while, you sort of just start getting sick of it, um, like me. That's my excuse. Now, there's some people out there that will fly every day for years and years, but uh, the average person will probably start flying less and less as uh, time goes by. So basically, I cycle these once a month. Now, what I do with these is, if I haven't flown and they're fully charged, I've got three batteries, one in the drone um, and two in my hand here. If, uh, if they're fully charged, what I do is I'll just go out in the backyard, I'll um, fly the drone, hover for oh, 10, 12 minutes until it gets down to 20%. And then I'll, I'll do that for each battery. So I'll, I'll empty each battery and then I'll fully charge them. So that's one full cycle. Now, don't go under 20%. Now, DJI recommend that as well. Don't go under 20% because the lower you go, the more stress you have on the battery and the shorter the lifespan will be of the battery. So that's the second tip. Don't go under 20% flying time if you can avoid it. Now, I know I've done, you know, down to 10 or 15 or 12, but... Soon, soon as you know, if I'm close, uh, as soon as it hits 30%, I'll um, return to home, I'll come back. So I usually stick around the 20%. Now, the other thing is, if you're going to store these batteries, it's best to drain them to about 50%. Um, on the internet, it says between 30 and 60%. Usually, I go around 50%. And the easiest way to do that is again, launch your drone in the backyard for you know for five six minutes. The, let it go down to about 60, 50, 60 percent, take the battery out and then you can store it for, for a long period of time. But it's always good to cycle them at least once a month. Now, uh, it sort of contradicts it saying that you're going to leave it in storage. Now, if you're going to leave these batteries in storage for six months or so, it's going to shorten their lifespan because it's just the way they're, they're built. They need, they need to be worked. Now, the other thing that will kill your battery is heat. I've seen many times that people go out flying in the park and they'll leave their batteries out in the sun. So they're just, you know, lying on the ground in the sun, full sun, and it could be like 30, 40 degrees. The heat will kill the battery. So that's an enemy of any battery heat. So you don't want that. Um, so basically, it, it's pretty simple. If you fly every day or every week, that's fine. You know, you, you, you're working the batteries. You probably won't need to cycle them. That's fine. But if you don't fly for... For weeks on end, like I haven't flown for a couple of months, at least once every month, just cycle them. So just empty them out and fill them up again. Now empty it, remember, up to 20% or down to 20%, no, no more, and then top them up to 100%, top them up again. Always a good tip, cycle your batteries and keep them in good nick, and that's about it really. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video. And if you did enjoy the video, uh, hit the uh, like button, click the, uh, the bell icon and subscribe to the channel. And like I said, we're going to Greece in a few uh, weeks time and I will take uh, my drone with me. And hopefully uh, good old Sparky will take uh, some decent footage for everyone um, on the internet there on YouTube. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope you uh, found this video useful. If you have, just uh, give me a like and uh, enjoy your day. Thank you. Cheers.